How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here, and yes, you did read the thumbnail and title correctly much sooner than we all anticipated. We've got some more leaked information on the last character for season two of Dragon Ball Fighters, that being DBS Broly. And it's not only the fact that we have the information now that has me excited, it's also the content within the info. Seriously, a lot of the stuff in here is going to make a ton of people happy. All right, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, let's take it back to the source of this information, which is leaks from the upcoming V-Jump for this month. You can find the source of these links down below in the pinned comment if you want to check it out for yourself. But rest assured, it comes from a very time-proven source that has gotten multiple things right uh, over and over again. Basically, whenever I've done a video like this before where we cover leaks without visuals, it's coming straight from these guys, so I always take whatever these guys have to say as 100% fact. So what all does this month's V-Jump actually cover about Dragon Ball Super Broly? Well, this leak goes into detail on a couple of his supers. The first one being Blaster Meteor, in which Broly releases tons of energy, in all directions. Obviously, without the actual visuals of the scan, it's tough to say what exactly this move's going to be, but I'd wager that it's probably going to be most similar to this move from the Gogeta movie. Although I could be wrong on that, maybe Blaster Meteor ties to another move. I haven't played any games with Broly in it, so I wouldn't know, but if you play Xenoverse 2 and there's a move called Blaster Meteor, make sure to let us know down below in the comments. Either way here, Blaster Meteor is not the star of the show because Broly's next super, or his level three, is called Gigantic Roar, in which Broly does a dash punch as a Super Saiyan, and his armor breaks as he shoots an energy wave. If hit successfully, he stays in the powered up form with broken armor and increased attack power. So basically, this confirms a lot of stuff. One, Broly will not be starting in his enraged Super Saiyan form. Most people saying that he probably does start in base because of the wording here, he dash punches as a Super Saiyan. But either way, it's one or the other. He's at least starting starting in his armor, which I know a lot of people were hoping for. People really dig the Saiyan armor look on Broly, but we also get an almost install-like transformation that lasts the whole game, so that is what I'm really excited about. You know me, I love my install supers, and although this technically isn't, you know, a true and pure one where you just transform and then after a while maybe it runs out or it takes on bar, this is actually better for Broly. He gets a standard level three, and if you hit the level three, you get a cool looking transformation and you get a permanent increase to your attack power. I don't know anybody that could be disappointed by this, but let me know down below if you are. I, this is just amazing to me. I should also mention that depending on the translations, people are mentioning that the beam he fires is from his mouth. So we might have another level three mouth beam on our hands, similar to Nappa, which of course Broly does do in the movie. So I'd be down for it. The only other real information we have on Broly in this leak is that he's a heavy character with high energy, long reach and good throwing skill. So if you were expecting Broly to be a big body character with some long reaching normals, we pretty much were all hoping for that. And that's exactly what we're going to be getting. This guy is going to hit hard and have some long reaching normals as well, which are both things that normal Broly has and normal Broly is pretty top tier. So hopefully DBS Broly can come in with the same energy. That's all the info we have so far regarding Broly's moveset and what we're going to see in this V jump. But I've also seen numerous sources say that they might show a release date and that they say Broly is coming soon. Whether or not coming soon is like corporate speak, for we'll see you in a couple months or it's actually like coming soon this month we don't know i don't want to lock down any dates i would be surprised if we saw it this month i would never expect that maybe next month a uh, late next month is what i was expecting but you know as soon as we can get the character i would love to see him in action especially love to get some hands-on time with him but there is one last piece of fighters news i do want to cover before letting you all go here and that is the fact that if you are a xenoverse 2 player <laughs> android 21 is going to become a playable character in the next dlc pack i don't even know what dlc pack you guys are on but I think that's pretty cool. Android 21 has proven to be a pretty popular fan character, so it's nice to see her making her way into yet another Dragon Ball game. And with that, now I can go ahead and get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to go down below in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about what you heard here and your thoughts on when Broly's potential release date could be. Of course, I will make an update video if we ever do get the visuals for the scan so I can show off all the supers and what they look like exactly. And of course, show off what he actually looks like in the game's engine. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to like the video and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Dragon Ball Fighters as we do update videos whenever a new piece of news drops here. It's a ton of fun. I try to get them out as fast as possible while still keeping them edited. You can also check out other videos that should be on your screen right now if you want to watch some more fighter stuff right away. I have been Dr. Doya. Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.